So, the latest sumo board meeting has been held, and the fate of Hidenomi and Shiden decided. Before I reveal it, let's just catch up on the overall story. The two Kisei Stable wrestlers were suspended at the end of December after their names came up in a police investigation into illegal gambling at a slot machine parlor in the Saitama city of Soka. They then missed the January tournament on Coach Kisei's orders, and answered questions from the police. Under questioning, the pair admitted to having visited the parlor on July 30th and August 11th last year, just after returning from the Nagoya tournament. Sumo rules on excursions were relaxed at that time, so no listed Covid protocols were broken. The parlor was then raided and closed down last September. At the time, Hidenomi bet somewhere near $1,000 on various machines, but maintains he usually spent far less. Stablemate and ex-university colleague Shiden, in Division 3 at the time, was merely accompanying him as his attendant. Nevertheless, police elected to file illegal gambling charges against them both. Furthermore, police uncovered the presence of other wrestlers at the parlor, but chose neither to name them nor press charges due to a lack of illegal gambling evidence. That's the information Sumo Chiefs had, and, doubtless fearing the need to punish multiple men, seemingly bade the Compliance Committee focus on Hidenomi and Shiden alone. That committee reported earlier this week, recommending that as attendant Shiden had no say in what the pair did, Hidenomi alone should take the further punishment of a suspension for March also. I can tell you now that today's board meeting accepted the recommendation. Hidenomi is banned for March and docked 20% pay until then. Shiden is let off with a warning. And Coach Kise let off with a sterner one from Chairman Hakkaku. The stable itself, despite being bound to a contract promising not to cause such scandals, will continue to run. Now, as you can imagine, this decision divides. Including sumo coaches, some of whom have secretly voiced their concerns to the media. Nikkan Sports quotes one as saying, Look at Asanoyama. Look at Abi. They committed no crime, and yet received draconian punishments. Aren't we letting these guys off lightly? The Yokozuna Council, which met on Monday, has publicly mooted the idea of lifting Asanayama's ban now, one suspects in light of Hidenomi's much kinder fate. For the record, Sumo Press Chief Shibatayama has stressed that is not going to happen. And fans have recalled that five members of the current board were themselves punished, and lightly at that, for either illegal gambling or failing to stop their wrestlers from doing such, during the original scandal which saw Kise Stable close in 2010. Is the board really the best body to decide Hidenomi's punishment, and on the very day it chooses election candidates? For me, although both have been prosecuted, from a sumo standpoint, the man most wronged is Shiden. Deprived of his long-awaited salary debut, only to find that Sumo Chiefs believe he has no case to answer. His salaried rank will not be reinstated, and given the talent in Upper Division 3, may never be regained. He said on the day of his promotion last November, I've been denied so many times over the years that I half expected some random thing to deny me again. How sad those prophetic words now sound. <laughs>